Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video we are going to show you how to upload files um, so that your website can be seen. Now if you have just bought hosting, the most likely thing is that you're going to see a page that looks like this. Um, and this page is usually provided by your hosting provider as a placeholder. <clears throat> a placeholder that allows you to, uh, to show that your website is actually loading but should be replaced with your website. So the first thing that you need to do is first log into your cPanel. Now, the cPanel details have been sent to you on email uh, by your hosting provider, and you should be able to find them with instructions on how to log in. And once you log in, you should find uh, an interface that looks something close to this. You may find an older, some older interfaces of cPanel, but they basically have the same functionality, uh, just that this looks a bit more new. Now, um, once you get here, you need to go to your file manager. The file manager is the way in which you control all uh, your files within your, um, your hosting space. So that's email files, that's basically everything to do with your website. Now, once you get here, uh, I would, you would need to click the public underscore HTML folder. Now, this folder is shown by the globe icon. And um, within this folder, all websites load within this folder. If you place your, your website outside of this folder, it very likely is not going to load. Um, however, there are cases that it can load, but it would not load automatically. That if you do your domain.com or .co.ke, it would not load uh, if you've not placed your files on the public underscore HTML. Now you double click on the public underscore HTML and you'll find files that are already there. Now these files are the ones that allow for this site to be seen as it's, it is right now. Now the first thing we are going to do is first we are going to take all the files, select all of them by clicking the first one, uh, pressing uh, shift, the shift button and going to the last one. It will have selected all of them. Now, uh, it's not advisable to delete files uh, on, your, uh, on the internet, so it's not a good habit. So the first thing we're going to do is compress. Now, by compressing, we are backing up the um, website um, as it was into a format that uh, will not interfere with the new website we're going to bring in. Now, notice that this uh, zip file here is the one that is, that shows, uh, is shown as assets. Um, so we'll need to replace so that you can remember what it was called just click once then pause for a minute and click again and should allow you to uh, Edit the file name name it backup Now since I already have a backup file, I'll name it backup two uh, So that they, they don't conflict and then press enter now once you've done that uh, You should click on the first one as you did again uh, uh, Then shift then go to the very last one but since you want to preserve your backup, you need to control, um, press the, but the control button and click to exclude the backup file that you'd selected. Now, after you do this, uh, press the delete button and it will delete uh, all, the all the selected files. Now, remember not to click the skip to trash because it will permanently delete the files. You may need them later on and it's good to have them as a backup. Now, you, once you've done that, you'll only remain with the backup zip file that you've zipped up and now you're ready to upload your site. Now, in this state, if we try to reload our website again, you will notice that it shows this ugly um, interface. That's because we've deleted all um, the website files from the public underscore HTML. Now, once you're ready to do this, now the next thing you need to do is upload your website. Now, before you upload your website files, if you have a template somewhere that you've gotten from the internet um, or whatever it is you're getting your, your template from, you need to zip it. So the first uh, thing you need to do is to go to um, where you've stored, your, where you've stored your, your files. In this case, mine is on the templates. And here it is. So mine is, I've chosen a HTML5 app template. And you'll notice that this, um, this is a zipped file um, from of this particular files. And how you zip all your files is by selecting all of them. Uh, again, clicking on the first one, then shift, and clicking on the last one. Then saying uh, send to um, compressed zip folder. And it will create your zip for you as he has done here. 
So once you've done that, you'd go. So you click on the upload. Once you've zipped it, click on the upload. It will take you to a new win new tab. It will say select the file you want to upload, and this will be will show the public underscore HTML. Now this is important. Remember, you need to upload your website to the public underscore HTML for it to load when somebody clicks, when somebody visits your website from wherever in the internet. So select, uh, you'd select the uh, files. And remember, our uh, our zipped website is, I named mine as website.zip. Now, once you do that, it's going to upload. And um, you need to wait until the bar goes green. In this state, if you close this window at this point, it would abort the installation, the upload, and it would uh, you you not be successful. Now you need to wait for it to go to completely green, and once it goes completely green, then you can be able to um, close this window. Even when it's a hundred, don't close it until it turns green, because it will show that it has been uh, completely installed and uh, accurately uploaded. Now that it's green, there you go. Uh, you can close that and you notice that it's not shown the files that you uploaded are not shown on this uh, file, on, on the um, on the public underscore HTML yet that's because it doesn't auto refresh so when you refresh you'll notice that uh, your website.zip remember you remember that one there it is um, so what you do the uh, what you need to do is right click on this and um, you would do extract. Now, by extracting it to extract it to the public underscore HTML, and there we go, extracted, and there we go, wonderful. So, if you looked at, you went back, you remember the ugly screen? Right now, it should not be an ugly screen again because we have uploaded the templates, and there we go, you have a beautiful uh, template uploaded. And uh, if you had already developed the site off site, then you can, then uh, you, there's nothing you need to do. If you'd like to edit, your files you can actually edit them on cpanel itself and the way to do this now remember the index file is the one that is called when calling the home page so when you do like for instance my uh, domain name cfwatu.com it would direct straight to it would go and look for the index file and so if you want to edit your home page you'd come you'd right click on the index then um click edit and once you do edit, it will open a new uh, a new tab that shows uh, allows you to edit your HTML uh, code. Now, something important that I need to mention is that when you are uploading your file, there must be at least one index file. Actually, only one index file, and then that file must be there. Index.html. Now, index.html is the standard through which a website, when it's called, is uh, you'd notice that this is um, cfwatu.com, but if we did forward slash index.html, it would load <clears throat> the same exact file. And the reason for this is uh, whether you load forward slash index.html or the website itself, it loads to the same file. So it's very important for you to have an index file on your uh, as one of the files that you have. So just in case you had a template and you renamed this to your name.html, you need to change this to index. At least one of them, one of the files should be named to index.html. If there are more than two, that will bring a conflict. So it should only be one file named index.html. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've learned. If you have any questions for me, uh, feel free to ask me on the comment section below and I will answer them when I get to that. Uh, if you have um, any other way that you'd like to learn how to upload, you can also post that on the comment section below, and I'd be more than happy to assist. There are other videos that would assist you to do different things, like installing WordPress, which is a website builder. If you don't want to work with code, you can use that instead. And uh, how to set up Outlook, still on this blog. So check that out before you leave, if you need to. So thank you so much and see you in the next one.